man. I love the alternate music for Melee. Yeah. The alternate music is definitely the best choice for the stream setup. It messes me up so much when I like boot up Project M or Smash 4 or something and I hear the Melee theme. Like, I know, and you're like, what is this, man? What's going on? Did I put the right disc in? Yeah. I must have put the right disc in. <laughs> it's playing this music. Does that mean I can wave dash? Nope. Still can't. I wish I could, though. I do like Smash 4, though. I'm, I'm yeah. The more I play it, the more I enjoy it, honestly. It, it's one of those things where, like, for any, like, Melee players out there, like, I, I get why you don't want to watch it as much. Like, Melee is the most exciting game to watch in the entire multiverse. Yeah. Like, everyone knows that. Um, but the more you play Wii U, it's a fun game. It grows on you. And, and it's grown on me, I'd say. So All now right. we're seeing Puff Fox. Yeah, I like Puff that. Fox. I like that. Puff uh, Shrek's cheek in neutral. Yep. And just all together. And she has the guts to go out and edge guard her when she gets hit off stage. Yeah, really easily, because uh, Sheik's recovery, while once she's kind of started it and put it into action, it's kind of hard to deal with. Um, if you can get past the range where she is able to recover, like where if you come out to her and she ha is forced to recover, you can like just make her like drop it's dead. It's only safe at a short range. Yeah, but, uh, exactly. Jason Birdman registering with the full tag. Oh wait, no, 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 that's Chris. Yeah, it yeah, was it was Fox. Yeah, it was Fox Sheik, and yeah, that is Chris Fox playing. Yeah, okay. Okay. He's been rocking the 1990X tag. Oh wow, oh, yeah, that's true. too bad for uh, Sauce there. Goes off stage, does not recover quite far enough. NTSC still not powerful enough. That was a nice little two piece there by uh, by Cyan to get them he off He did a stage. very nice up smash, up smash. Turn around space well. Wow, this is uh, really looking really, really good for the uh, for Crisp and Cyan right now. I have a feeling that uh, Kaysen and Sauce are mostly feeling them out right now. Yeah, well, they tend to, but like, I don't know. I, I definitely think that they're the better, like they're the better singles players, like undoubtedly. So this is uh, this is definitely looking like some good synergy from Crisp and Cyan so far. Very and, like, impressive it, teamwork, good positioning. Yeah, and it's not like. Uh, like Rob and uh, Curtis, as in Kaysen and Sauce, lack for any teamwork themselves because they team together a lot. No, I just think they're feeling them out a little. I'd yeah. like to see how match two goes. Nice up smash, very clean. Man, Puff Good edge guard so by, uh, by, by Rob there. Puff gets so much better when she's got a Fox covering her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably my favorite team combo in the game. I like it better than uh, Fox Fox Peach. Fox anything is good, but like I really like Fox Puff. I think it's the best. Yeah, I'm a fan yeah. of Fox Falco. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not. <laughs> Falco sucks, especially in yeah. doubles. Falco's so good in doubles. People just don't want to. Everyone who's good thinks Falco is good in doubles. Nice slap. That was brutal. Yo. Okay. This is super even now. It looks like the boys from Hamilton have kind of brought it back. Um, and Crisp is like on his last legs right now. One up smash will definitely do it. A well placed up air in neutral. Sauce positioning himself between Crisp and Cyan to try to get some pressure off. But uh, unfortunately, he's not able to follow up out of uh, Kason's grab there. And that was definitely a good opportunity for Crisp to maybe trade a stock with the rest. But as it is, um, the Hamilton boys are just kind of beating them out in neutral here. Quick dash attack to forward air, and finish. he's not coming back. Yeah. Good Very comeback nice. by uh, by Sauce and Casey Birdman. Although it was really even the whole time. Like I, I, I'm hesitant to call it a comeback because they did look like they were still like pretty calm and in control there. It's not like they were really uh, fighting too hard from behind. Just kind of a little bit of a percentage deficit. Oh, Marth Falcon is mad fun too. Yeah. Marth Falcon is swag. I don't think we'll see a character swap or anything here. No, I doubt it. That was looking pretty good for both teams. Like, Crisp is very much uh, a Jigs player. The only uh, player I don't have that much experience with here is Cyan, although I have seen him play before. Double Fox, yep, I like it. On this stage especially, and like, Kaysen is definitely like, Fox is his strongest character as well. 
So they're just going to look to like run all over Crisp in this matchup. Or if they have the option of getting Cyan off stage, he is not coming back. Neither. Both Fox beats up both Fox and Puff. Yes. Fox but. is good. So he's going to be able to take a lot of openings here. Hopefully if they can work off of each other and sort of play each other. It's like, th that's the one that's nice thing, right? So like one Fox grabs Jigs. The other Fox is ready to go, and you don't even have to think about the timing of your up throw up air, because you just wait for him to up throw, and the other Fox can up air for you. Very First strong. goes to Team Blue. Although Cyan loses his stock there. Uh, Crisp still staying alive there. Cyan rushes to the outside to try to dissuade any kind of uh, aggression from either Foxes on the red team. Team Red trying to split them up. Yeah. Force them into two little one-on-ones and deal yeah. with that. Which I, I think that's the right choice. Yeah, see, this, uh, this 1v2 is dangerous. They can cover so many tech options uh, when you have two foxes on the stage and one fox on the ground. All right, good dash attack by Cyan to get Crisp out of the rest. Stun. Good down smash by Cyan there. He's trying to cover a little bit more with it. Chris gets the forward smash onto uh, Kason. Very persistent recovery. I'm on board. That's his double jump, though. Yeah. Sauce knocking Cyan off stage, ready to go. That's going to be an easy stock for him. And now Chris tries to go to the outside to uh, survive. As he's drifting to the edge, he gets caught out by one of Kason's up airs. And uh, once again, Red Team has the lead in this match. Alright, Kason. Oh, loses his stock there. It looked like he might have been able to get back up. He drops a little bit too far, goes under the stage, and uh, it's just a nice percentage lead for uh, the, the Double Fox crew from Hamilton. Taking crisp stock there. Let's go with that big grab. Okay. Fearsome. That could have been like 30% damage onto Puff, onto Crisp on his last stock. We don't want that. Maybe not 30, but yeah. Got Lots of up. DMG. Lots of damage. Lots of DMG. And it would have knocked him out. And that's bad. That's a nice, nice edge card. The Hamilton special. That is it for Crisp in this set. Assuming that uh, Cyan doesn't come back, uh, maybe I'm not giving him enough credit, but this is going to be huge if he can come back on these two uh, foxes here. He's definitely doing a good job avoiding uh, pressure right now, but one grab is probably going to turn into a lot. Miss spacing by Sauce allows him to get get up attacked. Oh, okay. Goes for the manner nair. Yep. Well played. Very yeah, good showing by Team Blue. Yeah, and they really. synchronized their victory poses. Yep. I definitely had the. Uh, I definitely was gonna give that one to the Hamilton boys, but uh, good on Crisp and Cyan there for putting up a good shot. We didn't really see a lot of rest action there, though. I feel like if uh, if Crisp could have gotten a couple more rest setups, that would have been really key. Yeah, or just more edge guards. But I mean, yeah, you can say up. that about anything. All right, so we got Nightmare.